Hi, we will discuss that how we can share a private GitHub repository with several people without adding them or giving them access to your repository. There might be a situation where we want to share a private repository with several people, asking them their GitHub account. It's a kind of a hectic task. Sometimes there is a situation that you want to share your private work or your private repository with your recruiting company, with your supervisor, or maybe with your colleagues and friends. But you don't want to make your repository as a public. GitHub by default does not provide you such a feature. There is a third party service which provides us an opportunity and a way where we can share our private GitHub repository and we can clone them and so on. So let me show you how we can do this. I'm going to add a new repository or create a new repository. Just name it as private share test. I will make it a private repository and I can add a readme file so that I can just demonstrate by changing this readme file. So create a repository. So here is my private repository. You can see it's a private repository and anyone with this link cannot access this private repository. So like page not found. And if it's a public repository, anyone can access that repository with this link. So if I go into the settings, in the settings, I can add the collaborators. I can give access through that. And by adding the collaborator, I need to add multiple collaborators. Uh, I can use their username or email or even the name and I need to search. But let's assume there are like, 50 collaborators uh, like they are not collaborators but I want to share my code uh, with those people and this private repository should be shareable to create a shareable link I can go into a third party service which is called gitfront so gridfront.io somehow provides a way we can share our private repository so you can see over here that uh, with Gitfront, you can share private Git repositories without making them public. So uh, let's get started. We actually don't need to sign up initially. I will show you that how we can do this. So if I come over here uh, on the console.gitfront.io, uh, uh, I have unverified account and uh, there is a normally you see a pop-up and I can add a repository. I can add the URL of the repository. So this is my repository. I'm going to have it and let's name it as uh, git front. So private share test grid front is the repository that is the using GitHub repository and unable to access the repository verify the URL is correct. If you tried importing a private repository, considering consider switching to an SSH URL which means that uh, this is not going to work in this way. Convert to SSH. And this is somehow is in the, uh, is the, is the access code and I need to provide this uh, as a key to my GitHub account. So I just copy this. So I have copied this and this is the deploy key and I can go into the GitHub. I can go into the settings. And here, if I scroll down, I see a deploy keys. And here I'm going to add this deploy key. And the title is, let's say, git front share. And I will save this. I can give the allowed uh, right access or not. It depends. So just add the key. So this key has been added over here. I will go back into the git front console and I will say that build. Now my GitHub repository has authenticated git front so that git front can access that private repository. All right, so I can go and uh, view that repository. And this is my repository, which is the private repository of uh, uh, GitHub. I will go over here and I will change something. 
so I'm going to uh, change this uh, just say let's say readme file and I will commit readme updated after sharing and commit changes you see there are two commits over here and then this one was the initial commit and this one is uh, the one I have updated the readme file I will go here and I will uh, open this repository I will say rebuild and I can view that and you see that I have shared with Gitfront and I can clone this repository as well and this is the URL that I can use to clone the repository and uh, uh, just like uh, normal repositories of GitHub I can clone this repository I can see the code and so on so that's how we can share that and another thing is that this will expire this unverified account and this repository will expire in seven days to keep the repository uh, for the longer period of time you need to create your account and uh, uh, after that you can uh, continue keeping that repository and you can share this private repository so that's how we can share the private github repository giving a link and this link can be used i can go into the incognito i can share or paste that link so this is the link that you can provide to you of your uh, private repository with anyone and anyone can see the commits over here and anyone can see and clone the repository.